turning now to the latest numbers on the pandemic as the coronavirus continues to spread across Arizona. More than 507,000 cases of the virus have been diagnosed in the state, roughly 7% of Arizona's population, and more than 8,600 Arizonans have lost their lives because of the virus. Hospitals are becoming overwhelmed. 91% of hospital beds are in use across the state. More than half of those beds filled with someone who has COVID-19. But it's important to keep in mind those aren't just statistics. They are human lives. First at four, a Valley mother leaves her six children behind after losing her battle with COVID-19. Team Tolls Jen Wall talked with her oldest daughter, who's now the sole provider for her younger siblings. My mom was extremely lovable and hardworking. And in an instant, Vanessa Perez, only 25, losing her mom and becoming the one who will now raise her siblings. Being strong for all my siblings, but I'm really grateful and I always tell them, like, I'm happy that there's so many of us, that they're sick. God bless because we're what's helping each other. Vanessa says her mom, Myra Mian, was an essential worker at a local grocery store. She cared for her family until COVID-19 took her life this month. They would tell us she was getting better and, you know, we would get our hopes up high. And um, and then the next day, you know, her other, her, the same lung that had collapsed, re-collapsed. The virus becoming too much for Myra. Vanessa answering the hospital's call on December 14th. She says she plans to adopt her minor siblings. I'm the oldest, so I am going to be the sole provider. The community also donating thousands to help this family get back on its feet. Vanessa now unexpectedly plunging into parenthood. Shares a warning for Arizonans. Be safe, take it serious, because one life changes the life of everyone, which it, it's going to do for us. Jen Wall, 12 News. Oh, and our hearts go out to that family. Thank